Today's gonna be a fun one because we are gonna be plowing up our cow's pastures. I mentioned in the first episode, but the amount of size that we have for these fields that our cattle are in is almost identical to the size of the fields that we have on this farm. So we're going to uh, maybe not double the amount of fields that we have, but we're gonna get in there. And actually the first thing I'm gonna do is get in there with a mower and see if I can mow the grass that's there so I can make some extra silage. It looks like we can use this grass, but then again, there's been quite a few other farms that we've had where we couldn't. But I'm hoping this will be different. Now in real life, I'm guessing you probably would not want to mow up where your cows are or even put a cow inside of a tractor. It's just generally forbidden and a uh, good rule of thumb. But it's farm sim and we're well ignoring all of that. No rules today. And it doesn't quite matter what happens here. Oh, were we getting grass? Is it put it down? I was putting it down. Let's go boys. Yeah. Oh goodness. I do have uh there was one like mowing mod that I did have on here, but I turned it off. Uh it was like green mowing or something like that where it mows up all the bushes. I think I removed it actually. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not quite sure. Uh more or less where we are mowing, we're gonna be coming through and plowing up as well, because some of this grows, some of it doesn't grow. So I guess we'll kind of figure all that out once we get to that point. Yeah, like that. That's gonna be a real bad spot to try and mow and plow so we're not gonna do that it's kind of funny all the cows are under here <laughs> under the shade like now the crazy man's got the vroom vroom again go 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 this will make a fine amount of probably one and a half bales of silage but you know what at least it'll do it so that's good there's another thing as well it's kind of uh it's kind of interesting with this farm we have the farm decoration now if we were to delete that what it would do is delete these swing sets along with all of the fences as well we can also get rid of that house and i think we probably should because it's unfunctional uh, it also removes like all of this stuff right here it's all connected so you can see all the stuff that's there and then kind of go off from it and all the stuff that's over here so a little bit different we also have all these buildings and sheds and stuff too so it'll do all of these fences. I did that in my off-screen gameplay, but it turned out that I forgot where the fences were. There's another way you could do it, at least if you're on PC. You could hit F5 and it'll kind of show you an idea, but I haven't quite figured out how to show where the animal pin stuff is. So we would have to put down our own fences and then delete the fences that are here. It's a bit of a pain for right now. But that doesn't mean that we won't do it later on. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Let's, uh, let's finish up mowing. Entrance for our second cattle field is right around here on this side. Also, some of these fences could be entered. Like, just walk straight through. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. But, eh, eh we're all right. Let's close this up so none of the cattle get out and get to mowing. One of the cool things I like about this is the house actually sets itself up as part of the fencing area for this. Let's see if I can maneuver this a little bit better. There we go. I do like it when this mower's directly behind us. Eventually we'll buy one of the uh, the case windrows. It's gonna be a lot easier, but for now this works great because I can get this in and out of these small paddock areas. This is the other area I was talking about right up there. Uh, this whole area connects itself if you delete the fences, which kind of makes it nice and easy. And especially if you're not doing cattle, well, it really makes it easy. And just like that, we are done with the mowing, or at least with this little part right here. Now we need to come through and bail all this up because it's grass. We are gonna turn this into silage. Ooh, cheese grater, Ooh, almost. You got lucky kitty cow. Kitty cow? Yeah, good enough. All right, let's get in here and bail this up. I have no idea how this is gonna work out. We do have our silage additive in here. Let's go ahead and turn that on, turn everything on and get to... Well, I'm stuck on something. Interestingly, uh, we are making a lot of bail pretty darn fast. Look at, look at that, we already made one. I know they're smaller, but still, it's still pretty good. I mean, come on. This quick bail may be one of the most <laughs> One of the greatest mods ever. I mean, look at this. I know exactly where I'm going. I don't have to worry about windrowing anything. It just works. This is super easy. You definitely need to get you one of these. We got 10 bales off of this field and I've got another half of one in here right now. <laughs> 10 and a half from the... 
Alright, look. I don't I don't know what I'm hitting. Alright. Where's the collision? Oh. I see what's going on. The collision goes way past where the gate is. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're going to delete that and put her on down. Let's hit this second field over here. I don't know how many bills we're going to make on this one, but I'm going to guess it's probably going to be like, you know, we had 10 on the other. Say seven. Seven sounds pretty good. There's one. Well, I said seven. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know how in the world we did that, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, got a couple ideas. And I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this here, but I'm going to need your help. Because here's the deal. A lot of these fences, if we hit F5 again, uh, they've got that extra kind of collision there. Now, when they're closed, they don't. But when they're open, that collision extends. So I need to figure out a way where I'm going to put up fences. And I think I told you, but I think I'm going to put the fences up like right on the outskirts of where these fences are. And like, even when we get down into here, cause this fence too, if I can click on it. Oh no, I can't click on that. Oh, interesting. That's a separate fence altogether. Well, that makes things nice and easy. Uh, farm decoration, it's gonna delete a lot of the stuff. So we come through here, we've got that. It's both fences together though. It's like all of the fences in one get deleted. So we have to put down new fences and, and then, and then, oh, this is so confusing. I think for now, at least, the smart thing is going to be to pick up the bales that we have just made, set them aside, and then figure out how in the world we are gonna manage inside these fences, or if we're going to manage outside the fences. 20 bales. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's take them over here. This looks like a great spot to put them. Let's see, can I move them? Yes, we can. We'll put them right there. Oh, bounced them back and drop them. Perfect, all right. There shouldn't be any fermenting going on, but there's already 4%, so that's great. Oh, we should check on the bills that we did yesterday as well. How are we doing over here? 21%, okay. We're doing pretty good. So this part's gonna take a little bit of time and a lot of patience. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be putting down fencing areas on the outside of the existing fence, so near the outer edges of it. I think we also have these fences to worry about as well, but I don't know if those delete themselves yet or not because, oh no, they do. So you can see the other fences kind of highlight themselves when we select that, so that will be deleted. What about these guys? No. The seesaw, or seesaw, the swing, are clicked up with all the bells over here. Ugh, that's so confusing. So we save our game because we know we will mess up, and then we need to put down fences. Now, the fences that are down right now are these barbed wire fences, but I really like the white fences. I think it just kind of gives like a, I would say a modern look, but a, a, a really beautiful look. So let's do that. Let's jump over here to our landscaping. Nope, decoration and fences. At first, we need to figure out how we're gonna get our gate in. The gate needs to open towards the inside. So we're gonna have to put it like about in here. I think a, that would work well. I think here actually in this exact spot works really well. So let's go see si, senor. Got it. It probably wouldn't hurt to have a few more gates as well. For example, like down here, I would have loved to have a gate here. Uh, I don't know if we need something that goes out of the road or not, but definitely something that goes like out that way. But then again, it's on a hill. That doesn't look great. But maybe out towards the road. Ooh, that was not what I wanted. Maybe out towards the road would be the way to go here. So let's put something here. Out like that, I think that could work. That could work really well. And it opens in, which is good. Cool, all right, so there's that. Let's do something very similar with this field here as well. So we're just gonna kind of do something similar-ish with a gate there, cool. So that gives us an out there. We need to put a gate here, which is gonna go virtually in the exact same spot that the one here is. You know what though? What if we put the gate over here? And so all of that area in towards that would be where our, uh, where everything else is. Ah, 
That's why we won't do that. I think this would work perfect. Yeah, works good enough for me. Cool, there's that. And uh, then we've got this one right here, which goes in. Now we put that about right there-ish. I think that could work. Perfect. Are there anywhere else where we would need a gate? Uh, possibly on this side, but I don't actually know if we would need one here or not. Oh, uh, let's see, let's put one. I said we were gonna do it on the outside, so that would go there. Uh, I need a different build because that's not happy at all. This could work. That could work well. That's about everywhere where I think a gate would need to be or work well for. Uh, we do have this. I don't know if that's my gate or if that's a different one. I guess there's only one way to find out in there. So it appears that this is not one that I own, especially over here and towards the side, but that is one that I own. So at least that's good to know. So now let's have a little bit of fun. You can see right here, it is very unhappy uh, that it is uh, kind of blocking off a couple little spots here. Everything is in red. I'm not even sure if it'll let me place anything down right there, but the thing is I need it to be right here. Oh, it did let me place it there. Wow. All right. Now we bring this about right here. That'll work. And then we bring this over towards the edge of this shed. How does this do? Oh, okay. Let's see how that works. I think we can get it about right there. Perfect. Now, should we bring it into this building right here? I do have it where it'll snap for me, which makes things a little bit easier. Right there. You know what? I like that. That looks good. Sweet. And then, like I said, the other when it's gonna just bleed itself. We are going to leave this fence out. That is not a fence that I want to return with this next little setup. And this whole area right through here is good. So now we need to do this fence. So let's uh, set it up maybe about there-ish. Oh, it won't let me start there, but it'll let me start there. <laughs> Bring it all the way up to here. We will follow along this fence's line all the way towards the outside and then build it straight around. And if I've done everything correctly, this should snap right on. Yeah, baby, right on there. Cool, all right. Now here's the thing that this is not very happy with is trying to snap this in a way where it lines up. Now that's going to, oh, well, that does work there. <laughs> Down here at the very end, I can see that my barbed wire fence does not extend up that way, so the fence that I've brought down from the house here is going to have to go over. So we'll, nope, nope, that is a gate. Oh, what buttons am I pushing? As I was mentioning, uh, it does need to come all the way over and I think it needs to connect, but we could probably put our own fencing through there. And that may be what I try to do. I don't, I don't, I don't know. We need to put this here for now. There we go. That'll work for now. And then the fence over here, I'm really not gonna worry too much about because once it's gone, the collision will be gone and I can piggyback off of that and we can finish this up. I don't need help with that part, but what I do need is help with this up here. So let's go ahead and hit this part of our fence as well. Again, this shouldn't be too difficult because we're just gonna follow around the outside. So about like that, maybe about like this. Yeah, that could work well, cool. And then straight over, up near the road, which kind of makes this nice. Might be able to uh, dig that ditch out. And around towards the outside, and it connects. So there we go, there's our white picket fence all the way around there. We have mostly a white picket fence around this field right here, at least everything that's enclosed. So now we should be able to delete the fence that's here. Sell that, yep. And now we still have our fence. Now that doesn't look great, but we still have a fence all the way around. We still got a fence around here and we've got a fence that connects up to there, leading us back around towards here, connecting these two areas for me to mow that up and plow it and do all that fun stuff. And through here as well. I did not hit this fencing area. So probably hit that like it was supposed to be there the whole time. Not the most beautiful or elegant little area, but I can't do it the way the modder did. So uh, that's the way it's going to have to be. But you know what? I'm really happy about all of this. And come to think of it, I wonder, oh, I wonder if this will let me, what in the world? There we go. Please go this way. 
Why are you over there? There's nothing over there for you. Come on. Get over here. Nice and easy. Come on. It is not the most graceful ever, but you know what? I got my fence, so we're good. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely not the most graceful. Man, it would have been cool to put a uh, gate right there. All right, whatever. We're, we're good. And here's my fence around the house. You can't even tell that it's different than the way it was. Other than this area right here. It definitely looks different. There we go. Put some bushes down. Now it looks all right. Now all we got to do is go through there and plow up all the areas that I want to. Uh, but unfortunately, we'll have to do that in the next one.